In my work, I'm really privileged to be able to work with people that are much younger than I am. And uh, on one of our trips, when we'd gone out, uh, I offered to take a picture of, 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 a, of a bunch of them. And they said, no, 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 don't, don't, don't take a picture of us. We want to take a selfie. And I was wondering why they would all want us to crowd into one single selfie when here was I offering to take a picture where they could all fit into a beautiful frame. And that really got me thinking about selfies. Why do we love selfies so much? Hello, I'm Sandhya and welcome to Dynamic Living. Today I thought we would talk about a very interesting phenomenon. Selfies have been much vilified, but uh, they're also very, very popular. And <laughs> so perhaps this warrants a little bit of introspection and closer look and maybe a selfie or two as well. Now, in its most unflattering avatar, selfies have been branded as being expressions of narcissism, um, of, of people just want to project you know, perfection in their lives, of us wanting to blot out all our flaws and, and, and Photoshop ourselves and present like this happy, perfect, successful face to the world. But selfies are not all bad. There are several other reasons why people like to take selfies and those include that our faces are the most captivating um, in a frame, but also for the beholder. Um, that there have been studies that, that show that, that, that a picture that has a face in it has a lot more engagement than a picture with just scenery in it or a long shot of a person. Okay, cue in for close up and selfie. Thank you. <laughs> but I'm going to go deeper in and try and understand why we love our selfies so much. This I learned from a psychology professor and he said that if you think about it, a selfie is the way you would see yourself in the mirror. Just try that as an experiment. A selfie looks very different from if somebody else was taking a photograph of you. And what does that mean exactly? It's the first time that we're actually seeing ourselves as if we were standing on the outside looking in. So I'm actually going to suggest that we love our selfies because we want to be seen as we are. And if you're wondering why teenagers and young adults take so many more selfies, well, think about it this way. It's the time where our personality, our identity is just being formed. And somewhere we want the world to recognize us. In fact, that's a pretty universal desire or wish that all of us have, adults included. We all want to be seen. So here's my invitation to you. Go ahead and hold a mirror up to yourself, or yes, a front-facing camera, and take a good look at yourself, not just at this physical body, but take a look at what's going on within you, at your emotions, what's going on inside your mind. Go ahead and look at the quality of your thoughts. Go ahead and look at the quality of your choice-making ability, your decision-making ability, your discretionary ability. Understand what your goals are. Understand what you believe your meaning in this life, in this world is. And then by all means, point that camera at yourself and go ahead and take that selfie. The world is just waiting to watch you. Thank you for watching. If you believe this video can help somebody, please do share this with them and do subscribe to my channel if you'd like to hear more reflections on important matters like selfies. Have a great day.